hello everyone i am asif ali and you are watching cg how video and today i have created this another video of hlsl code in unreal engine material and uh, niagara particle system so let's check it out how i created this First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I will not say this is a tutorial because this is not my original code I copied from someone's uh, shadertoy.com and so all credit goes to him uh, who created this code but I converted this GLSL code into hlsl for unreal engine niagara and material so that's how i am learning because i have mentioned that earlier in my previous video that i am learning hlsl and this is the best way i find to learn this thing and i'm getting into it and hopefully sooner or later i will create my own hlsl code for niagara so here if you'll see this is my material you can see this is a node which has this code and some parameters that I created and this is my uh, instance material so we, I have these parameters like this BG I can make the BG black then this is leaf count and this is leaf uh, so it's making 12 is leaf end okay and this is leaf start and this is zoom this is overall zoom so you can make pretty cool the effect and in niagara you can see i have the same on my particle and if i rename this hlsl and i have same parameters here so this is my bg you can make it black and i have this height so you can see particle has some height if i make it zero it will be flat okay so I can decide some height like this I'll make this 500 then here also I have these leaf count if I just stop this now you can see leaf count and end and start and this is my speed if I play again and make it 5 this is speed and the final is zoom in zoom out okay so here in my material i have this code so if we will come and this is the link of my shader toy reference so if i copy this and paste it here so this is the video if i paste it again let me check if the link is correct yes so let's compare how I change this GLSL code into my HLSL and this is the guy IQ so all credit goes to him so I open my notepad plus plus and just close this new and new one and I'll just copy my material code copy paste it here and choose the language HLSL and let's compare with this so if i zoom a bit so from here you don't require this line when you're creating your hlsl code because this is just defining that your uh, out vector is frag color and your frag coordinate is vector 2 but in here in material you have defined your frag code that is texture coordinate and your output is just return you return values in hlsl uh, for material okay so you don't need to define this line after this you will see this whole math is same just different thing is like uh, you are using mix in hlsl let me just fix it here so it will not just every time and let's just zoom it okay and zoom it bit here 
so here you can see in glsl you use mix but in hlsl you use lerp so these are the thing that you have to change so where you will find mix just replace it with lerp and then last you return value in hlsl when you are uh, working in material so type return you don't need is equal to and again instead of vector 4 you will use vector float 4 and the all things the same so it's pretty easy and here you can see here vector 2 p that is my float p2 and frag code frag code that i have already defined here frag code is my texture coordinate and oops and then you can see frag code minus i resolution so i'm use this is your resolution of your this previous scene so your i resolution x y so in unreal engine i'm using this one by one that is r so this is my uh, resolution one by one and you can see i'm using r dot x y then min and r dot y that is my resolution of y and resolution x okay then these math is same i didn't change anything uh, one more thing you can see this is i time so this is your time so in unreal engine i have this t that is connect with this time node okay so this is my t so you can see where is i time i am using my t so these are the four or five things that you have to change uh, resolution time vectors and floors and this frag color return these are things to change when you are working in unreal engine material and now comes to the unreal engine niagara particle system and yes of course you will uh, get these files these particle system and material file in my pattern so you can just download it from and then you can just change the values and more things here you will notice here uh, here this float d is equal to 0 0.25 plus 0.75 and when i am changing this value like if i make this 1.5 and compile you will see how is changing this okay and if i make this 1.75 and compile so this is changing this so these value i made the parameters here so if you will check here here in float d see i made this leaf start plus leaf end so instead of these values i made my parameters and that parameters now connected here so you can see leaf start leaf end with the same values 0 0.25 7 0 0.75 default values similarly i use this bz instead of here and uh, more things zoom here so this value is to zoom this effect if i increase this if i make it like 8 compile oops 0 0.0 you can see this is totally zoom out so this value is for zooming so i made a parameter of this so this is done now comes to the particle system so this is my particle system i have this grid a hundred hundred particles and over this grid i have this module so here i have grid uvs that is my coordinates age that is my time and my resolution is just one one although you can connect it with this but i just kept it one one this is my resolution and the same parameters that I have in material uh, zoom leaf count leaf star same so let's check the code i'll copy this and paste this here paste and now compare so when you are working in niagara you don't require return you can just copy paste it exactly but again instead of mix you need lerp and smooth step was not working in niagara so i just use clamp or i can just delete this clamp it will work same and same instead of i time i'm using t and for resolution i'm using r 
so you you can keep vector 2 vector 3 in niagara so you don't need to change so in niagara you don't have to change much things because these all things same just the resolution frag code and these parameter that you required so you can convert any value to a parameter so that is how it works okay i hope i cleared uh, thing how it's working and then these all going to my color and position okay so you can just download this file from my patreon and just tweak this and check how it's working and keep learning with me hlsl so uh, i hope you like this if you have encouraged just comment below the video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel cg how thanks for watching keep learning bye bye